We are once again in the car rider line. If you want to make sure that you're always getting in the car rider line, uh, go ahead and like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. That's Red Clay Creek Presbyterian. I wanted to come on from the car rider line and offer a PSA, a public service announcement, because we are smack dab in between Halloween and Thanksgiving right now, and I have been involved in conversations regarding controversy for both these holidays. One with Halloween. People have different perspectives on how old a trick-or-treater should be. Should teenagers trick-or-treat? Also for Thanksgiving, what should be allowed to be served on Thanksgiving Day? I was part of a conversation where a wife was ribbing her husband about wanting oysters on Thanksgiving and she, he was ribbing her back about wanting to serve pigs in a blanket. Okay, so listen, if a teenager comes to your house to trick or treat, give them candy. And if someone wants to serve oysters or pigs in a blanket on Thanksgiving, go for it because life is way too short. At, at the end of every funeral, I offer a benediction. It starts with, life is short. We have not much time to gladden the hearts of those who journey with us. Gladdening hearts, that's not a bad litmus test. I've heard worse litmus tests about whether or not you should do something. These teenagers that are going out trick-or-treating, they, they were kids two minutes ago. Let them be kids just for another minute if it gladdens their hearts. Thanksgiving, there are all kinds of reasons why someone might want this or that uh, to be served for that, that meal. If it gladdens their hearts, go for it. Friends, life is short. We have not much time to gladden the hearts of those who journey with us. So be quick to love and make haste to be kind. And on your hearts and homes, the love of God, in your comings and goings, the peace of God, and at your ends and new beginnings, the arms of God to welcome you and bring you safe home. Amen.